you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. So it's July. My son just turned 11 months old. I turn 31 next week. I just, there's a lot processing in my mind right now, but I am super proud. I was able to read seven books in the month of June. So let's dive deeper into what I was able to read. So the um, very first book that I read was Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So this was like the first classic that I have read in a really long time and I also had never read a Jane Austen um, novel before. I buddy read this with um, Ellery Adams and we did a recording session on my channel. Um, you can go and check it out. Um, and it was so much fun. I rated it a five out of five stars. I absolutely adored all of the characters and I don't know, it was sort of like the Regency version of like Jersey Shore, like kind of in a way. It was just a lot of fun to be able to sort of like peek in on everyday people's lives and what they were doing and things like that. So I really, really enjoyed that. I then read Thistles in the Unthinkable, which is the uh, newest book in the Port Danby series by London Lovett. And you guys know how much I love Lacey Pinkerton. Um, and this uh, book revolves around her best friend getting married and sort of the ups and downs of being the maid of honor. And of course, there has to be a murder. And it was it was a lot of fun and I gave it um, three and a half stars. The next book I read was Prime and Premeditation and I also uh, buddy read this with Ellery and we wanted to do sort of like a retelling to go along with the classic. So we read this. This is by Tirza Price and this is a Jane Austen murder mystery. It's the first one in the series. And it follows uh, Lizzie as a 16-year-old um, sort of volunteer working at her father's uh, law office and how she really wants to really work at the law office as an employee, but due to the type of um, era they live in, women aren't normally working and things like that. And so... I thought that this was cute. I, I, it's one of the first like YA, um, like cozy mysteries that I've read, and so it took some getting used to the angstiness of Lizzie. Um, I gave it a three out of five stars. What I think is really interesting is Price is taking very, very um, popular, well-known Jane Austen books and then she's rewriting them. So she's going to do um, Mansfield Park and I think it's Manslaughter Park. Like she's doing other ones. So the next one comes out next year and I'll probably pick it up to see like how I like it. I will say that I am kind of bummed that the mystery isn't going to continue on with Lizzie um, as the protagonist because I'd really love to see Lizzie grow more as a character and sort of see where her and Darcy end up. Um, and to see just like more of the characters growth, all of the characters growth, including Jane and Lydia and things like that. So I'm not quite sure where she's going with it, but I'm excited to see. Um, the next one I read was an arc from NetGalley and it's called Stowaway and it is by John David Anderson. This is sort of like a middle grade YA sci-fi book that I absolutely loved. It was so sweet and so good and as a mom of a boy, my heart, um, our main character's dad is a well-known scientist. Um, the We have aliens that have come to Earth for a very, very rare um, sort of, uh, I guess it's like an item like that they can make into fuel for spaceships. And so they said, hey, if you'll let us um, go in and mine the ore out, we will give you um, advanced medication and technology and things like that. 
but the earth is slowly dying and um after um leo's mom is killed um his dad makes the decision that him and his brother they're all going to go on a spaceship and do science um it's gonna be it's gonna be like a trilogy and i really really enjoyed it i'm probably not you know selling it out but it's just it was so good and there's space pirates and quirky characters and i mean twinkies like it's set in like 2052 so i don't know I really really loved it you guys know that I'm always down for a uh, sci-fi so I highly recommend it um, the next book I listened to um, was uh, the Anthropocene reviewed by John Green this was a non-fiction um, like story essay stories um, about the Anthropocene which is what we're living in now and it's a uh, it was sort of like each chapter was John Green writing about something and then rating it on a scale of one to five. Um, so we talk about Haley's Comet. We talk about, um, oh God, we talk about baseball. No, uh, soccer. We talk about soccer. Like there's just like so many different things and it was hilarious and heartbreaking and I really really enjoyed it i highly recommend listening to it on audio because the way john green reads it it just makes it it feels as though you're having a conversation with him and it's not um like it, the the emotion in his voice i really really enjoyed Okay, the next book was also an audiobook and it's The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. I really really enjoyed that. Um, five out of five stars for me. It was so good. I was on the edge of my seat trying to figure out the whodunit. It is sort of like a thriller um, in a way. I, But it's not like jump scares. It's just, I don't know. So our, our main character, she is moving from, um, she's moved from the east coast all the way to the west coast to live with her new husband and his 16 year or 14 year old daughter and it goes back and forth in time but basically her husband um goes missing uh after it is found out that his business that he is a part of is sort of doing some shady things and the fbi has gotten into the mix and he has vanished. The only thing that he has left is a note for her that says take care of her. Um, which he's meaning for him, for, for his wife to take care of his daughter. And you find out things about the husband that he never told either of them. And it's really, really, really like, it's a good mystery. I really enjoy trying to figure out the whodunit. And I really, really liked the audio book for it. Um you could you you could feel like the the anxiety in the audiobook um narrator's voice and i really appreciated that and then the last book that i read for june was the cozy escape book club book and that was lending a paw that was my second read of this book i gave it like a two and a half three stars i gave it a three stars the first time i read it in 2018 it's just not I love the idea of having a bookmobile and like a librarian as a main character and I know that there are a ton of people who love this series and that is flippin' fantastic. I'm always down for you guys to disagree with my take on a book. That is perfectly fine. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it so I will not be continuing in the series but I'm glad that I gave it another chance um, and I really solidified my view in it. But yeah i read seven books for the month of june i can't believe it i wonder how many books i'll actually get to read in july uh i've got my tbr for me to film my tbr next for july but yeah that's the end of this chapter of court tagonist let me know um did you like this video what did you read in this month did you read some great books? Did you read some duds? Let me know down below, but that's the end. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.